welcome to Flash. The voice you hear belongs to me, Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein. Okay, fair warning. I reserve the right to repurpose your quips for my improv set later on tonight. This is round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Time to share. Number one on the list, a good name for a movie starring a crime-fighting jockey and his horse. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Coming up next, a good name for a pet aardvark. Vote on your devices. Next on deck, a weird thing for Peyton Manning to endorse. Ready, set, vote! Next prompt. The one thing that never sells at costume shops is a mask of blank. It's voting time. Moving on, the title of the shortest book ever written. Vote now. Moving on, a car that would never sell is the Honda Blank. Time to vote.
That's round one. Let's see how the scores shook out. Hey. Round two is here, so let's double the points and bonuses, shall we? Almost out of time. Use the safety quick button if you have to. Okay, remember, this is all your fault. Up first, a terrible trade you can make with the devil. You give him your soul for blank. Okay, everybody pick your favorite. Your next prompt is the most disappointing thing to win on a game show, a lifetime supply of blank. Put in your votes. Next one, a bad substitute for dental floss. Okay, vote. And next is yelling fire in a crowded movie theater is bad, but even worse is yelling blank. Get to voting. Next on the list, the only thing you can remember from inside the womb. And vote. A 
Next, a rejected church hymn, Swing Low, Sweet Blank. Float away. No more. Let's see the damage. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. One final chance to catch up, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Write a quip using these word lash rules. We're ready to look. It's round three, so you've got three medals to award. A gold, a silver, and a bronze. Make your picks. Okay, who's taking home some medals? Bronze first. Show me the silver. And now the gold. Let's sell off those medals for points. Okay, let's see those final scores.
welcome to Quiplash. If you experience any dizziness while playing, you probably won't do very well. I think we've got just enough people to do the wave, but let's not. This is round one. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go! Use a safety clip if you can't think of anything. Let's see what we got. First off, the weirdest song that could play during a father-daughter dance. Okay, pick your favorite quip now. Next in line, a very lonely Saturday night is just sitting on the couch with blank. Vote now. Next up, how your spouse knows you're having an affair with a clown. Okay, vote. Next, a time you absolutely should not wear white. Ready, set, vote! And next, bagels should change their name to blank. Time to vote. Next in the hopper, the name of a bar with no bathrooms. Get to voting!
that's it. Let's see the scores for round one. Round two is upon us, and all points are doubled. Take that, round one. Running out, think fast or use a safety quip. Let's start this show. First up, the only things that can survive nuclear war are cockroaches and blank. Okay, select your favorite quip. Next up, an ingredient you definitely shouldn't find in a bottle of water. It's voting time. Next, a very hipster form of birth control. Put in your votes. Next one, a terrible name for a street. Vote on your devices. Next prompt, the only bad word that can follow bacon. And vote. Next, what happens if you eat too many hot dogs? Okay, vote.
Round two is through. Let's see what it did to the scores. And now round three, the last lash. This time you'll all be answering the same prompt. Complete this word lash task. Let's see those quips. Give out your medals now. Okay, everyone, let's see who got those medals. Bronze, silver, and the gold. Now we transform those medals into points. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard.
Schmitty here. My trick knee is acting up again, which means there's a quiplash of ruin. You know, it's not too often I see a group like this, thankfully. This is round one. The more people who vote for your answer, the better your score. Let's go. Running out. Use a safety quip if you need it. Great, let's see what we got here. The first prompt is the quickest way to rid yourself of a tapeworm. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. is the worst thing to see while wearing x-ray glasses. Float away. Set vote. Your next prompt is what a caveman has nightmares about. Put in your votes. virginity to get to voting Now. 
Next in line, something you might overhear in a completely full clown car. It's voting time. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. <laughs> On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say. Safety tip if you can't think of anything. These better be good. First one a bad line to have on your business card. Okay, use your device to pick your favorite. Next on the list, the worst children's game, Hungry Hungry Blank. Time to vote. Coming up next, why did Jack and Jill go up to Canada? Vote on your devices. Next on the list, what a moody teen would say to hurt their stepdad, Bigfoot. Get to voting. Your next prompt is, what a U.S. president could say during a State of the Union address to get everybody to clap. It's voting time.
created use for a corn cob. Ready, set, vote. That's it for round two. Let's see those scores. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. Everyone's taking aim at the same prompt this time. Come up with the full name for this acronym. Time to take a look. Present your medals now. Let's see where those medals ended up. Medals are nice, but points are even nicer, so... That's the game! Let's see the final scores!
I'm Schmitty, and I'm ready for some quiplash. I'm sensing a lot of repressed anger in this group, mostly from me. So everybody back off, and let's start the game. Time for round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Running out, think fast or use a safety quip. Let's take a look. Prompt number one is an alternate name for meatloaf. Okay, vote for your favorite. Sap. Okay, vote. Happy nude calendar, the men of blank. Float away. Raccoons digging in your garbage say about you. Put in your votes. Don't wear pants. Time to vote.
Next up, the name of a bra for dogs. And vote. Round one's over. Let's check the scoreboard. Yeah. Round two is pulling into the station with double the points and bonuses. Safety quit button if you can't think of something. Let's start this show. Starting us off, why do owls not kill us? Okay, pick your favorite. Next one, a terrible place to dump grandma's ashes. Vote now. Next in line, a weird thing for a baseball umpire to lean down and say to a catcher. It's voting time. Next in the hopper, the name of a really crappy robot. Ready, set, vote! Okay, next one. Why haven't we been back to the moon? Okay, vote.
way to spend Leap Day. Time to vote. Survived round two. Let's see if your scores did. Wow. Round three, the last lash. Everybody's getting the same prompt, so don't hold back. Come up with an answer for this word lash task. Here's what everybody wrote. Pick your medal winners now. Let's see where those medals went. Bronze, silver, and gold. All right, let's turn that into cold hard points. That's all, now for the final scores.
Wake up! Come on, wake up! Welcome to Trivia Night, a labyrinth of despair and madness. Or at least that's how I describe it on the Facebook event. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the minigame, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And it's not too late to join the audience and play along. Listen to me blabber on. Let's just get into the game. You'll figure it out as we go. First question. Which of these is not a Beatles song? Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, prepare for your punishment. Welcome to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. How can I make your dungeon experience more enjoyable? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Write something now. <laughs> now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. Whoever wrote the answer with the most votes dies. Pick the answer that makes you go, uh, no sir, no. I will have none of that. <laughs> Voting is not just a right, it's a privilege. <laughs> the votes are in. It's never really easy to put yourself out there like you did, but oh well. <laughs> and now you're dead. See? Real consequences down here. But you're not getting out of this game that easily. Ghosts still get to play and can even win the whole thing in the final round. Death is not the end. Let's take a look at the scoreboard, shall we? Do you like it? I took an online C++ course. Aced it. I've got more questions for you. What day does a month have to start on to have a Friday the 13th? And the correct answer is... This. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. Hello, guten tag. Welcome back to the killing floor. Let's get all artsy fartsy. And yes, you should probably feel some pressure right now. Like a boss. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished. Even a stick figure is better than nothing. Come on already. Now everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the worst drawing. I mean, one of these has to make you kind of angry. 
pick the drawing that makes you go, oh no, I do not want this waiter, take it back. <laughs> go with your gut, pick the worst drawing. <laughs> the votes are in. This is democracy at work, people. I think you found your true calling as a splatter artist. Just to prove this isn't a fever dream, here are the scores again. Alright, next question. I'm passing out glow sticks for this one, but please don't rave too hard. What music act is fronted by Diplo? said, this one? One of you is still alive. Let's play a game. Let's see if you can string some letters together. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I knew these magazine clippings would come in handy eventually. Oh, and all these other players get to play along too. And if any of them spell a longer word than you, you will be punished. Begin. The letters don't have to touch each other, and remember to press submit when you're done. You're almost out of time. Let's see what you could come up with. Let's see if anyone beat you. Okay, you won this one, but don't get comfy. Shoot, I forgot to pick up the coffee filters. Sorry, I don't know why that popped into my head. I should probably run out after I'm done with you. Let's try another one. Curious what that smell is? Well... What was the name of Justin Bieber's first perfume? for your punishment. Oh fun, a big pile of moolah. Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die. Stop, collaborate, and listen. I'm not sure. Let's see who was a jerk and who was a sucker. Wow. You're gonna have to live with what you've done, but you get to live. Aww. I'm gonna enjoy this. Azalea. Question. 
I'm a total foodie. I love umami, which is a taste closely associated with what flavor? And the correct answer is... this. Come with me. Let's play a dice game. I'll go first. Six. Now I need an assistant. You'll do. In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? The choice is yours. That was a weak move. I hope you regret it. Roll higher than me or you die. Well, poop to you and your lucky dice. I thought these dice were rigged. Uh. All right, next question. Spoiler alert. Who cuts off their own foot with the dull hacksaw to escape an ankle chain at the end of Saw? Yeah. I'm turning out! <laughs> Who picked this one? Let's go someplace fun. Uh-oh, this is a mess. I'm going to need everyone's help. I spilled blood all over my favorite piece of art. Memorize the pattern of blood. Okay, you've had long enough. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If anyone does better than you, I will be testy. Yeah. Ah! Hurry, as the voices in my head always say, find the blood, find the blood. <laughs> here's that arc again, and here's what you did. Let's see if your answers hold up. I'm not an art expert, but that looks better than what you did. They ganged up and killed you. You probably thought they liked you, but then they straight up killed you. That's gotta mess with your mind. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Hostess snack cake products. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. Aww, you have to get answers right to get closer to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Decisions, decisions. Anytime today, kiddo.
Star Wars planets and moons. I have to write some harder questions. The darkness approaches. Countries that have a president. Time is almost up. American Idol winners. Anytime today, kiddo. It's the only way. Western African countries. Hurry up. Where's pants? Decisions, decisions. Who will win? It all rides on this. Goosebumps, Bucks. Thank you.